You can't go to Disneyland for a week without doing some other extra special stuff, and we're no exception. We're five days away from going to Disneyland, and here's the extra fun stuff that we're doing. We are so excited because we're counting down the days so we get to Disneyland. First time in 15 years. My kids were little, now they're not so little. <laughs> but we are excited. We have been planning and looking forward to this for months. And of course, as part of that, that means you're also looking for extra special things beyond just the normal Disneyland. I mean, Disneyland itself is awesome. California Adventure is awesome. But we're really looking forward to a few extra things, too, that have managed to be worked into our schedule, and it's really exciting. Now, keep in mind, we're on a tight budget, so to be able to do some of this is just fantastic. And I, again, I have to give a shout-out to Alex and T-Chess Media for helping cover a lot of these expenses. Thank you, Alex, because without you, this wouldn't be happening, and we wouldn't be able to think about this. One of the very first things that we talked about doing was the Oogie Boogie Bash. Now, they have a Halloween party, kind of similar to what Disney World has with Mickey's Not So Scary at Magic Kingdom. And that is a ton of fun. Oh, goodness, we loved doing that last year. This year in California, they moved the party from Disneyland over to California Adventure. They've changed the host, and they've added all sorts of new things to it. And we are really excited about this. We love dressing up. We've all got our costumes set up. And if you watch the packing video that will be coming up, I'll even give you a little glimpse of what I've got going for me. But we're going as a group of villains and we're going to have a great time. They've got trick-or-treat trails where characters are actually coming out and interacting with you. They've got this incredible walkthrough at the Redwood Creek uh, Trail which is a villain's woods thing. And the couple little glimpses I've seen, it looks awesome. I'm trying really hard not to look and spoil it. Worlds of Color has a new villainous show for it. And of course the parade and other things. And it's just going to be a ton of fun. So we are really, really excited about the Oogie Boogie Bash. Honestly, when we first found out we were going to Disneyland, one of the very first things was, what are we going to do? How are we going to dress up? What are we going to go as? And coordinating the costume. So that was one of our very first discussions. Excited to be able to do that. There are other things that we're looking forward to as well. Uh, pin trading. Yes, you can go pin trading at Walt Disney World. Yes, you can pin trade with the cast members at Disneyland. But Disneyland has something a little different than Walt Disney World does. Every Thursday in Frontierland and then every Sunday at the uh, causeway between the two parks, there's a group of picnic tables, the local pin traders come out. Not cast members, but regular people who collect pins and like to trade with other people. I don't know, maybe I just hit the wrong people in Walt Disney World, but I just never had a lot of luck getting a decent trade or even getting pin traders out there to be friendly. I Maybe me. But I've gotten to know some people that are online, a couple groups, and so I'm really excited about being able to meet some of the people I talk with online and do some actual pin trading. What pins am I going to trade? Well, you have to tune in tomorrow to see that, and I'll be showing all my pins that I'll be taking and what I'm taking to trade. Other special things, and I've hinted at this a little bit, we're going to eat some food that I grew up eating as a child. Jim Boy's Tacos actually started right outside where I grew up. I actually make homemade tacos based on how Jim Boy's does theirs. And there's one right across the street from the parks. We're going to be ordering round table pizza, which I delivered round table pizzas in college. And I still think it's the best pizza out there. I just haven't found a good pizza in Missouri. Yeah. So excited about that. So we get to sample some foods that I grew up with. Uh, yes, we'll make the pilgrimage to in and out <laughs> They're all excited about that. Um, I'm okay, but hey, it's good burgers. So we will be checking out some of those things. And that's going to be part of the fun. We're hoping to make it to the beach, which will be a fun extra. Uh, they've never seen the Pacific Ocean, at least two of our group. Amber and Joseph has, but it's been many years. So we kind of need to be able to see the Pacific again for them. We're looking forward to meeting people. I actually have a collab set up with a very, very, very well-known YouTuber that I'm hoping comes together. We've got a date. We've got a time. He's busy a lot, so I don't want to give his name just in case it doesn't happen. 
But I'm pretty optimistic it's going to, and you'll get to see that when we get back and maybe do something live. I don't know. But I'm very optimistic about that happening. Like I said, we've got everything situated. It's just a matter of making sure that nothing else comes up and, and ruins it. But excited about the collab there. And there will be a couple others that I'll be looking for as well while I'm there. So who knows? But I'm also looking forward to meeting a lot of my viewers. We've got a meet and greet at the Anaheim Garden Walk, which is just a couple blocks away from Disney. It, on Saturday, October 5th at 11 a.m., meeting down by the fountain. So if you're in the area, I'd love to meet you. I love the meet and greets. They're fun. I get to meet people. And it'll be at least me and then probably the other two guys with us. The girls are kind of a little more shy. I don't blame them. But you'll at least get to see a couple of us there. So hope you can make that. They're fun. And yes, I will have my Sir Willow pins. So if you're out there, this is a chance for you to get some of them. Oh, and then we've also got a couple places we've got reservations for. We got into Oga's Cantina, which I'm excited about. None of us drink alcohol, but hey, we get to go see DJ Rex. That will be cool. And we'll probably order some other concoction. I don't know if we'll get the blue milk or the green milk or what all, but we'll order some other things that aren't alcoholic. It'll be a lot of fun. Looking forward to the atmosphere there. Very much so. And then the big reservation that we've got, and this I am really excited about. Disneyland offers Phantasmic packages. And of course, their Phantasmic is right down on the Rivers of America, and it can get crowded, and if you don't have a Fast Pass for the reserve sections, then you're trying to squeeze into the main things, and, and it can be a mess trying to get a spot. So I was a little concerned with that, and we talked about it, and we decided, you know what, we're going to work our budget. Yes, budgets are tight, but we're going to spend the money, and we're going to get a Phantasmic package so we can get our spots reserved, and you know what, if we're doing it, let's do it at nice. So we're each... We're actually going to eat at a place I have never eaten at. And I've been to Disneyland eight, nine times, something like that. We're going to eat at the Blue Bayou. And like I said, I've never been there. I've floated past it on Pirates, but never actually eaten at the restaurant. It's going to cost us about $100 a person, including our tax and our tip. So I think it's like 74 or 75 before all of that. So we're planning $100 and we're going to have a very nice dinner in air conditioning. Although it's going to be a lot cooler out in Disneyland compared to where I'm at. Never been there. I, I can't tell you how excited I am to eat at Blue Bayou. If there is a classic restaurant that you think of when you think of Disneyland, man, if I can eat the one place, you might think of Club 33. You maybe you think of uh, the Plaza Inn with her fried chicken, but for me, it is the Blue Bayou, and, and so I, I can't tell you how excited I am about that. And then to know that we've got our spot reserved for Fantasmic, that we'll be able to go over before the showtime and get a spot, not have to fight the crowds, maybe to get to the entrance. But at that point, we'll have some room and we'll have a good view and so that is going to be wonderful so those are kind of the big reservation things that uh we've got that spending money on that's the special stuff i wish we could do more at one point we actually uh were working on a possibility for club 33 and unfortunately that fell through i i feel terrible for the guy that was trying to get us in because there were some things that happened that weren't his fault and so no club 33 but that's okay we're still getting to do so much, and, and these extras are just really cool. So is there something that maybe we don't know about that's cheap and free? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it. What are special things that you've done? I'd love to hear those as well. Please share them below. Don't forget to hit like and share too, and subscribe if you haven't. And we're going to get ready because it's only a few days left. Five days. Almost there. Disneyland, here we come. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and God bless. If you'd like to know about my merchandise, fan pages, and more, be sure to check the description below. If you'd like to know whenever I've got a new video posted, well, make sure you hit that button right up there and subscribe. If you'd like to watch another one of my videos, I've got a great one for you right here. And if you'd like to be like these wonderful people here and support me financially on Patreon, well, make sure you check the link right there. There's even some extra perks for them. Thank you so much and God bless.